Skelly here. Hope you're all well. So um, if some of you caught my short video um, the other day, you'll know that I have now emptied the one half of my garage. Um, I think it's probably a little bit of a stretch to call it my games room, but um, it has at least given me a bit of space. So what does that mean? Um, I can actually start emptying some of these boxes and start looking at some of this other stuff I've been picking up. Some of this, I, I know what it is, but I know what I've got. Other stuff, I've just gone and grabbed it, put it in the garage and not looked at it. So I thought it'd be really cool um, to look at some of this stuff together um, and go through some of the stuff I've got. Um, so this first box that I'm gonna go through here um, was actually given to me by um, a close friend. He's um, one of the dads at school. Um, he's got a couple of kids at the same school as um, two of my boys. <clears throat> and uh, I guess he's just doing a bit of a clear out of his loft, get a bit of a clear out at home. Um, and he loves his gaming. He, um, you know, he's got a bit of nostalgia for some of the retro stuff. And he came across this box and he said, look, I'm never going to play it. No, my girls aren't actually interested in it. He said, it's just going to sit in a box up in my loft and, and be just, just rotten away. So he's given me the whole box um, on a permanent loan, as he calls it. Um, which is, um, you know, obviously I'm hugely appreciative of. Um, I've actually not ever owned the systems that are in this um, this box, so that's obviously an added um, bonus as well. So um, let's have a quick look. So um, first thing, systems-wise, N64, pretty good nick. It's um. This stuff I have actually got out of the box previously and I have powered it up, so I know it all works. So yeah, it works a treat. Um, it's got the memory module in. I know sometimes if you pick these up um, second hand, sometimes they've been taken out. Um, so yeah, N64. A um, couple of controllers for the N64. So I believe the yellow one is the um, GoldenEye um, controller uh, it looks like it's got the rumble pack as well and um I, yeah i mean i can imagine this is probably one of the first um controllers that had like a rumble pack or something like that so i should imagine that, that i mean picking this up for the first time playing golden iron you know having that vibration must have been um pretty cool um another n64 controller <coughs> uh, what else have we got in here uh, blah, 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 blah. let's go to the next system shall we so uh Super Nintendo, a slight yellow in, but nothing that you possibly wouldn't expect for something that's been in a loft for God knows how long, or, you know, a system of this age. Again, um, other than that, no real scratches, a couple of scuffs, but, you know, it looks in really good condition. Um, again, powers up absolutely fine. So, um, yeah, brilliant. Uh, let's get the boring stuff out of the way. What else is in here? Uh, a whole bunch of cables. Obviously the power and the RF cables and the uh, um, various video cables that are needed. Aha, here we go. So there's two uh, Super Nintendo controllers. One's obviously a knockoff one and here is uh, an original one. Neither of these actually work, disappointingly. Um, so I'm going to have to take these apart and have a quick look. Um, but if anybody knows of any um, common issues that you get um, with SNES controllers um, and you know you can point me in the right direction to give me an idea of where to look um, put your comments below any information would be greatly received so what else have we got we have got what's this what's this what's this super game boy cart uh, I'm guessing this is a, a converter to play your game boy games on your super nintendo so, uh, yeah, that could be quite handy because I don't have a Game Boy. So if I pick up any Game Boy games, yeah, that'd be all good. What else we got? How was this? Equalizer cheat code cartridge. No idea. Again, comment below, guys, if you know what this is for or uh, how to use it. But, uh, yeah. So let's get on to some games. Oh, hang on. Let's get this one out of the way. Another Super Nintendo controller. Um, Super Nintendo. N64 controller. Getting good nick. That's cool. Right, let's get on some games. So, the all-time classic. Goldeneye. Car only, no box. <coughs> what else have we got in here? 
Zelda Ocarina of Time. Again, I believe another all-time classic. Again, car only, not boxed. Mario Golf, car only. Super Mario All-Stars for the Super Nintendo. Again, uh, car only, I believe. That's the box in there. There are some boxes in here, though, for various games. Super Mario Paint for the Super Nintendo. Uh, Super Nintendo again, Killer Instinct. N64 cart by looks of things, NBA Live. Oh, let's see what else we got. To Nintendo Lion King. So uh, Super Nintendo box here. Um, Mr. Nuts 44.99. Look at that, blimey. Deep pockets needed back in the uh, 90s, obviously. There's a car. And no manual. I mean, the box is in rough condition. I mean, it's got tape all over it. Um, tabs and stuff don't look too bad, actually. It's just a little bit of creasing on this. But actually, other than the tape on the one end, the, um, the rest of the box isn't in too bad a condition i mean i'm so i'm so late to this game in terms of retro gaming um i think my um fussiness over boxes i think needs to uh i don't think i need to worry about the boxes too much to be honest but um yeah you know i don't think that could possibly be repaired if needs be what else we got what else we got this one looks pretty bad oh Aladdin, Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo. I mean, the box looks again. I mean, look at that. That's. Uh, I'm going to have to get some 2T UK magic on that and have a go. I think. Um, cut. See again. I'm I'm new to this game. I don't really uh, know much about Nintendo stuff. Um, as a kid, I actually only had Sega systems. Um, so actually my retro computing nostalgia really sits with the end uh, sorry the Commodore 64 and that's where I started and then I kind of moved I then moved from the Commodore 64 straight into PCs really um, and I kind of dabbled with I had a master system at one point my first PC was actually an Amstrad mega PC and for those of you that don't know what I did it was a 386 SX 25 megahertz um, PC with a whole one meg of RAM um, uh, but it had a slider on the front and it basically it was a switch and on one side it had the disk drive which was um, PC mode but as you slid it across it um, had a mega drive uh, slot and so it was a Sega mega drive on the one side so that was my real first console was really a Sega mega drive but not actually a Sega mega drive it was built into a PC um, and then I just I I kind of just dabbled with the consoles i mainly stuck with pcs um my best mate <coughs> all the way through my school um, days was um lived opposite me he was an only child um and he had every console under the sun every time a new console came out he got it so um all my console playing was a couple of hours around his house maybe a couple of evenings after school you know i'd go over there and have a quick go but then i would come back to my pc and if he wanted to play on the pc he'd come to my house so that's kind of how we shared it, really. So, um, yeah, I didn't really own too many actual consoles. Some of this stuff um, I'm discovering for the first time, which is, um, which is awesome, right? What else have we got? N64 game. Um, Blast, Blast Core. Another 35.99. Whoosh. And there's the uh, cart again. Box doesn't seem, you know, for me. I mean, I think I mean I would class that as perfectly acceptable for me. I mean, somebody like Rob, um, Essex Retro Gamer, would probably cry if he saw that. But um, you know, like I said, I'm so late to this game. 
I don't think I can be fussy. What the hell's coming? Not much left in this box. Uh, every pickup's got one of these, right? FIFA. So FIFA Soccer, Super Nintendo. Uh, again, this box is pretty battered. You know, I'm going to have to try and do a little bit of repair if I can. The cart. Whole five player. Look at that five player. Uh, and there's one more box in here. NBA Live. Hang on, we have a cart for that. Yeah, the NBA. So obviously I've got the box for this here. Although well, this feels quite weighty, as if there's something else in there. Okay. So actually, there is another NBA Live cart in there, um, and the manual. And obviously just the general N64 um, leaflet. But yeah, the manual looks in really good condition, actually. Yeah, it looks in really, really good condition. I mean, and the box isn't too bad. It's just slightly squashed. Um, there's no cardboard insert for this. But um, I'm sure I can pick up those on eBay or something. I mean, this sticker here looks like somebody's tried to take it off and then... Um, yeah, not had much luck, so maybe I need to try some label removal or something on there. Um, and that's it for this box in terms of the uh, console stuff. So like I said, this is permanent loan, stroke free um, from a mate of mine. Um, so yeah, I think, you know, for free, how could he complain? Um, he did actually also give me two other items, which for me, probably holds a bit more nostalgia and I was actually probably slightly more excited about it. And um, apparently he's got more of these somewhere. He hasn't come across them yet, but he knows he's got more and he said they'll certainly come my way um, when he finds them. So one thing I, for, um, one thing that, I think the Amiga has the same sort of nostalgia, but early PC games, one of the things that I really love is the, the big box games. I just, I don't know, there was something about the big box games. You go and get a big cardboard box, brilliant artwork. Um, and it's those that sort of held the nostalgia for me on the PC. And if you had a PC, possibly even now, but certainly in the early days, a couple of games you would absolutely own Championship Manager. So this is the Championship Manager 3, the IDOS, big box for the PC. intact the inlay the cobbled inlays in there and that cd the cd case has got a slight scratch but obviously i could pick up a cd case and replace that it's not a problem I mean, this looks in great condition but um yeah i just think i don't know there's something about these big box games that just i don't know i just uh, they make great display pieces although i will need probably another garage to if i want to collect some of these but there we go and then another game which i'd never heard of um death carts again on the pc big box game again inlay all all intact which is amazing brilliant so um and those of you that haven't caught it um get yourself over to the hobby lodge channel uh, martin on the hobby lodge he um he's got a couple of videos where he talks about pc gaming um and he's built a couple of retro pcs that play those late 90s early 2000s sort of xp windows 7 sort of games um i basically copied him and did the same so these games I will be actually able to hopefully load on and play. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then not big box, but um, another game he gave me. Last one, Championship Manager again for the 97-98 season. Um, so looking forward to uh, loading this. Do the same old thing. I know, be Acton Stanley and do a second player's Man United and sell all the Man United players to Acton Stanley for zero pounds, you know same old cheats that everybody used to do on these games but uh yeah um just full of nostalgia i played hours and hours and hours of championship manager on the pc um 
but yeah, he's a great. And if he's got more big box games, I just you know really can't look, you know look forward to getting more. Hopefully, um, so one box. I think that's enough for this video. Look, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, give it a like. If you didn't like the video, give it a dislike. I'm you know I really don't mind. Any sort of interaction is good interaction, right? So um, all that's left for me to say is uh, look after yourselves, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.